The next thing we're going to do is install memory. Now this board's unique in that it has both DDR and SD RAM slots. They can be used at the same time. They cannot. I get that question a lot, so I'm going to clear that up now. Just because it has both slots, you can't use them both at the same time. Now, SD RAM, rarely have I seen it installed wrong because there are two notches. One, two. And the RAM has two notches that line up with these. So it's really obvious that it only goes in one way. DDR, on the other hand, only has one notch. Now, if you look at it real close, you'll see that that notch is offset. Well, some people haven't noticed that. They think it's right in the middle. They'll put it in backwards, and they fry the board and the RAM. You see where the notch is. You line that up with the bump. Now, most boards, all you have to do to install it is just push down really hard, straight down. Some, some boards have really tight slots in them, though. And what you might have to do, I find this works out really well, is just drop the RAM in the guides. Push the RAM in one side at a time, and then give it one really good push in the middle. Just because these little white tabs on the sides come in does not mean that the RAM is locked down. I've had plenty of times where these tabs will be in, but the RAM will not be all the way in the slot. And one way you can tell it's all the way in the slot is if you look down here, you probably won't see any contacts if you look down at the uh, where the RAM meets the slot. Now, removing RAM is easy enough. Those two little white tabs on the sides, just push them. Push the other one. Pops right out. Take it right out. No problem.